Thanks ZipRecruiter for sponsoring this video. As I am opening this package, take this as a warning. Do not try anything you are about to see in this video at home. You've been warned. And here is the star of today's show. Mad Dog 357 Plutonium No. 9 Hot Sauce. The hottest hot sauce in the world. It has 9 million Scovo units. As I opened it up, the first thing that it hit me was the smell. I'm telling you, this scares me. However, it's not only thing that came in the box. Check this out. Yellow cake. Pure capsaicin. Now, if you don't know what capsaicin is, let me quickly explain. It is the chemical found in food that triggers the same reaction as heat. It's basically telling your brain that your mouth is on fire. If that was not enough, something else also came in the box. Premium pepper extract. This is now getting a little bit out of hand. You can really see how thick and red it is. This is one of the worst smells I've ever had in my life. But hey, we are here to experiment and we're going to be using all three of them to dry age steaks. Are we even going to be able to eat this? Well, let's find out right now as I'll be using this beautiful rib roast. And in order to really see what happens with meat and this amount of spices, I'm going to have a control. To do that, I just got to split it in half. One will be dry aged the normal way I do it always, which all I really have to do is to put it in a cooling rack and put it in my dry ager cabinet. Because the second one is the one that made me rethink about my choices in life. First, I lay down some parchment paper, then immediately put in the beef. I started with the plutonium sauce first. As you know, this thing is real thick. So to help out, I added a little bit of the extract. If this does not look like a horror show to you, I don't know what does. I think this is the only sauce in the world that is trying to put you under the ground because as I continued to add the extract and everything else, the room became intoxicating. The more I spread it on the beef, the worse everything became. To say that this was one of the most scariest experiments of my life is an understatement. As now, the worst part is yet to come, which is to add the capsaicin on top. Now you're probably thinking, am I going to use a little bit? No, 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 no. We're going to be using the whole thing. As I was spreading around using my fingers, the only thing I can think of was this. Please, glove, do not break on me, as that would probably be one of the worst things that could ever happen to me. But once I was done with everything, I immediately transferred it into a cooling rack, and this is what I was left with. The world's hottest dry age experiment. I mean, I cannot even think about how hot this thing is actually going to be, because now the only thing left to do is to let it dry in my refrigerator for 35 days. Once the time was up, I took it out and look. The meat itself is unrecognizable. It looks exactly like Mars. And if you could only smell it, to say that it's bad is a complete understatement. However, I know you want to know as much as me what this is going to taste like. So I started by removing the pellicles. That is this outer crust that is created whenever you dry aging steaks. And as I'm doing so, you can see that this hot sauce really penetrated deeply in there. This is probably one of the worst experiments I've ever done. I mean, take a look at it. The more I take, the uglier it looks. So now I transferred it to a cutting board, removing everything that I thought was necessary. Because once I was done, this is what I was left with. The world's first plutonium dry age experiment. And as you can clearly see, there's no way I was able to remove all of the hot sauce. It penetrated all the way through. But remember, we still have a real dry age one to compare. And unlike the previous one, this one smells phenomenal. You can even see a little bit of white mold starting to form. And even though it was dry age right next to the plutonium one, I still have high hopes. As once I was done removing all of the pellicles, I was left with two beautiful steaks. This is what a dry age experiment should look like. Here's what the plutonium dry age looks like next to them. Because the only thing left to do now is to go ahead and get them seasoned. For that, I went with salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. And just in case we could not take the heat, I went ahead and made a very creamy mashed potato. All of the ingredients will be in the description down below for you. I'm only doing this side dish to make sure that we were not going to go six feet under. Hopefully, all of the steaks are going to turn out fantastic, as the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. First, I'll be putting a nice sear. Once done, I'll cook them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135. As now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to grill them, so let's do it.
Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, ZipRecruiter. Certain people just make my life so much easier. Like this guy, this guy, or this guy. I do not know what I'll do without them. I rely on my amazing team for everything. They help with everything like keeping up with the schedule, prepping for videos, filming, editing, and yes, even cleaning up after my messy experiments. If you own a growing business and need to hire, check out ZipRecruiter. They make hiring so much easier because they do all of the work for you. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash GugaFoods. ZipRecruiter uses its powerful technology to find and match the right candidates up with your job. You can easily review these recommended candidates and invite your top choices to apply. And ZipRecruiter has a complete suite of tools that makes it easy to filter, review, and rate your candidates. In fact, the hardest thing you gotta do is remember our special URL, ZipRecruiter.com slash GugaFoods. That's where you go to try ZipRecruiter for free. Once again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash G-U-G-A-F-O-O-D-S. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Thanks, ZipRecruiter, for sponsoring this video. But now, let's get right back to it. All right, everybody. Here we got our beautiful steaks. My two uh, champs. <laughs> yeah, don't, worry, don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I made a beautiful side dish. A side dish is beautiful. This is a very nice video, guys. We got a whole extra steak. We got a nice looking side dish. I am pumped up right now. This I'm is going to be sick. We got a little experiment here. I put one steak in the middle for the very first time just for separation so we don't get confused. I say enough talking. Let's go for it. Yeah. Working hand. We're going this direction. Hand. Sounds good? Okay. Do it. Let's go. All right. Please dig in. All right. Dig in, gentlemen. Let me know about this one. Tender. Oh yes, I have a feeling it's gonna be real good. I feel like I say this every video, but these thick cuts are perfect. What can I say? Leo likes it real thick, everybody. You There's nothing wrong thick. with that. Hey, yo. I know that's not <laughs> <laughs> I like it thick too, if it makes you feel any better. Yeah, it makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, this video is going in a direction that I was not expecting. So I say enough talking, let's give this a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Oh Lord have mercy. That is a good steak right there. That's nice and dry aged right there. Yes, that's correct. But at the same time, the perfect amount of dry agedness. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna leave me hanging. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I thought you were saying the steak. I'm Leo, you're canceled. Google, I got you back, I got you back. Much better. <laughs> but like you were saying, Guga, I agree 100%. It's the absolute right amount of funkiness on it. The perfect balance of that beefiness, that juiciness, and that funkiness. I think this is a perfect amount of dry age. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's like it's like you have everything you like about not dry aged, and then some of what you like for dry age, and then you boom. I say now I can't wait anymore. I want to try this mashed potatoes, yeah? Ooh, let's go for it because we got to- Mashed potatoes? Yeah, we got to cleanse our palates. Oh, hold on. No, don't you. <laughs> That's so unfair. Man, that thing is amazing. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> I'm jealous. Let's go. Cheers, everybody. Official. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. For the first time ever, I didn't put any milk. No milk. No milk. Doesn't it taste creamy? I get a lot of, not a lot of, but I do get a good amount of that cream cheese. Wow, right. it is so delightful. I literally <laughs> bathe in cream cheese from how much I love it. I like what he said. Delightful. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the right word. It is very, very nice. Okay. I agree. With all that being said, let's dig in. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's dig in. Oh man, this is a good video. Hey, good. Why'd you get that random slice right there? There's no reason. Now, sometimes I gotta be careful with you, you know? Yo, Okay. What the f Are you alright, Leo? Oh, no, I know. <laughs> Why are you coughing already? There's some in here that's making me cough. It actually smells like gasoline. My favorite dessert. <laughs> My favorite ice cream flavor. Wouldn't you say the same? <laughs> Enough talking. Let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Woo! Oh my god. That needs some mashed wow. potatoes to wash it down. <laughs> I knew something smelled really weird about the crust of that steak. Normally, I don't make side oh dishes for dry aged steak. I knew I was gonna need it, everybody. I'm gonna be honest. It's, it's, I don't think it's that crazy, but it is there. It's not crazy for you, but it is ridiculously crazy for me. It is not good. D did you like it? Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> it was what okay. The it was just a little bit spicy. So hear me out. This is spicy not to the point where i'm like my mouth is like i'm shooting flames hey man it's spicy but it's, it's okay what i will say that is not a bad steak the spiciness does not take away from the flavors that this steak has i am very happy you guys enjoyed it you guys can have that entire steak <laughs> okay i'm very happy with the regular dry age it is way too much i dry aged this one here in the 357 mad dog together with capsin and the concentrate now i will say this because i dry aged it and it was on the outer crust and when i removed it it is not like the sauce. I want to be very clear. 
It is very spicy for that me. Can be close. Not for you guys. It's something I highly recommend staying away from everybody. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao, guys.